Meanwhile, the Upper West Regional Coordinator for Nadmo Ahmed Mustafa says the organization is waiting for alternate routes to enable them distribute relief items. He spoke to Daniel Dazi. Talking about farmlands being affected, and we are talking about houses that are equal being collapsed. And some of those houses that are actually being collapsed are part of the people who are whose farmlands are equal being washed away. So it's a mix of failure actions uh, that we currently face in the region. Do you have a number? Yes, we do have uh, the number of farmlands that are being washed away. The number of acres as of now is about 700. Per the preliminary situational report that we currently have on the ground indicate that 722. Uh, farmlands have actually been washed away. And the number of farmers is 1,605. So okay. the number of houses that have equally been uh, collapsed or washed away by the flood is 80. And the individuals that are currently displaced are 336. For how many communities? Uh, for, the, for, the, for the communities, we have aggregated into districts. In the Nadole Kaleo district, we have 165 communities. Then in the Jirapa municipality, we have 16 of them. And then the Fiamma Isabuse district, we have about 155 communities being affected. Wow, you definitely have your work cut out for you. Um, that, that's Mr. right. That's why we are using your medium to reach out to organizations, civil society groups who are into disaster management or other uh, relevant distance to come to our aid. Because just like the Rose Minister have indicated, this has become a national issue and not the upper west for that matter. So we are reaching out to every organization that have anything to support this uh, vulnerable to come to the RCC, chaired by the regional minister, and we'll be doing, we'll be grateful to those individuals. Well, my colleague Rafiq Salam, who's been monitoring the events for us, uh, will be joining us shortly for more. But the National Disaster Management Organization has made initial assessment of the extent of damage caused by last Thursday's flash floods in the Upper West Region. Upper West Regional Director of Nadmo Ahmed Mustafa states the assessment done in three districts, which form the epic center of the disaster, revealed that a total of 722 farm lands belonging to 1,000. 605 farmers, 336 individuals displaced as a result of the collapse of 80 houses. Rafiq Salam has an update on this one. He now joins us via Zoom. Rafiq Salam, um, what more can you tell us about this? Rafiq Salam has been monitoring the event for us. Um, the National Disaster Management has been making some assessments and it's come out with the preliminary assessment on the extent of damage. It reveals a total of 722 farmlands belonging to 1,605 farmers and 336 individuals are displaced as a result of the collapse of 80 houses. Rafiq Salam is joining us again and he will be telling us more on this one. Rafiq Salam, what can you tell us about the extent of damage, I mean the assessment that's being made by NADMO? Rafiq, kindly unmute for me. All right, so it looks like Rafiq is not ready for us. We'll try and get Rafiq for an update on this one. Uh, let's do more on the polls. And we're still in the Upper West region. We are assessing the extent of damage over there. All right, so Rafiq is unable to join via Zoom, but thankfully he's on phone. Rafiq, um, what's the update on the extent of Hello. damage? Nadmo is telling us uh, that it's assessed some people who have lost their farms and items. What more can you tell us about this? What I can definitely tell you about now is that not more they have done their preliminary assessment and they came out with the number of people that have been affected by this disaster that occurred last Thursday. So they put the number or pegged the number of uh, persons displaced as a result of the disaster to so 336 
uh, from 80 households. And they're also uh, saying that uh, several farmlands are uh, amounting to about 722 uh, were affected. And so these farms are for over 1,600 uh, people. And so for now, these uh, the preliminary assessment from the NADMO. And what they are also telling us uh, is that this assessment was done at uh, the places where we are referred to as the epic center of the disaster, talking about Jiruba, talking about Dadoli, and then also talking about the Laura area. And this is where they, they, they have been able to do this assessment because some of the places for now, they have access to the places because they are still inundated with water. Um, what can you say about relief items? Have they begun giving uh, the victims uh, relief um, items? Uh, the last couple of hours, when I spoke to the APOS director of Nadmo, Ahmed Mustafa, he told me that, uh, yes, they have gotten the relief items. They were going to give them bags of rice, uh, cocoa oil, and also some mattresses. Uh, but what uh, he's saying that they want to go to some of the communities to see whether they have access to uh, these communities and whatever they will inform the media about it. For now, they haven't received items ready, but how to reach out to these victims uh, is their problem for now. What what uh, what more can you say about fixing the roads? We know the minister promised that the roads will be fixed. Are uh, any signs of the roads uh, to be fixed? Um, the minister, when he met the overlord of the Wala traditional area, now for seeing the city people, the fourth, he made mention about plans by the government uh, to fix this road. He's saying that, yes, the damage that has been done on this road is enormous, it's monumental, but he's saying that it's not beyond their capabilities. And so we assured the people of the Apple region that these roads will be fixed. They even penciled one particular contractor in the name of PNW Ghanem, who has been here for the past six years. Uh, he's a Lebanese-based Ghanem uh, contractor, and he's the one that will lead the charge of fixing these uh, roads. And so he's saying that as we speak now, engineers are at work, they are doing the road design, and then meet, there will be an emergency meeting on Monday in Accra together with that contractor, and then they will finalize patterns uh, out. And so for now, he's saying that the people should uh, uh, be uh, happy that they will fix the road. And the upper West Region Minister is also telling the people that they should brace themselves for the odds uh, because times, uh, times, uh, uh, times are really ahead. And so the roads will be fixed, but not uh, uh, in, the next, uh, in the next few months. Rafiq Salam is our correspondent in the Upper West region. He's been updating us on Thursday's floods and relief items um, that the people are yet to receive, and also the extent of damage uh, that has uh, gone into this whole thing, and also the um, the NATMO's assessment of who and who have lost their properties through this flood. Now, Metro Agency is predicting more rains in the Upper West Region. On phone right now is Tete Potofi, who is the head of forecasting at the agency. Mr. Potofi, I'm grateful for your time. Um, how is it going to look like in the next few days? Uh, yes, um, over the northern sector of the country, and especially the Sahel region. This is uh, the major rainy season. So we should expect more rain before somewhere after October. So what should be the preparation towards this? Already um, Thursday's uh, floods has caused a lot of havoc and uh, we're still dealing with it. What should be the preparation towards this, um, the rains that is coming in well, the I next few days? Those, those people at the low line area should be, should be moved out because they come up with problem. It means it is also raining heavily over the over Burkina Faso. So there is a possibility that uh, uh, not too short a time they will also be opening some of their north border to those areas. So, those people at the lowland area to make sure that at least they moved out to a safer place. Um, because um, this year we've noticed that uh, the race over the north is, is, is doing very, very, very well. And then uh, we believe that if they could they not go and then uh, the fire service and the police should up their game and then uh, try very hard to 
convey those who are staying in the low lying areas to move out. They should they, should, they can create some safe areas for them so that they can protect them there because um, um, the public dam has not yet been opened. And this is what we are observing. So once we are expecting more rain, we pray that uh, the, the, the sensitization and then the advising the populace to move out will be the best option for now. Mr. Fosofi, what's the forecast for the rest of the country? Oh, for the rest of the country, yes. Um, for, for us in the coastal area, we are not expecting much. Somewhere, from central region, western region, as we may the barrel, there is some early morning showers or drizzle. However, from early August, getting to September, we will also get into our minor season. And that is from the middle bed to the coastal area. Mm. So this is the time we need to be doing more preparation to receive the minor season. We are expecting that the minor season is better than the major season that we had. Uh, to see my so uh, we need to up our team and then make sure that at least the two got there. The drainage systems are all up. So that the drainage is raised, so that can flow. Thank you so much, Sethe Potofi. He is head of forecasting at the Mithio Agency.